Hello, I'm Terry Lowe, CEO of VisGen, and I'm delighted to be with you virtually here today. It's been a difficult time for all of us this past year, but it's also been an incredible decade of progress for genomics and scientific research. In fact, it is through genomics that we finally appear to be taking back control from the COVID pandemic and starting to bring some normal into our lives. Looking back at some of the key advancements in genomics technology, from PCR to NGS to single cell, we are witnessing the life-changing impact that research scientists can make with the right enabling tools. And what's particularly special about today is that we get to announce the launch of the spatial genomics platform that will lead to a new generation of genomics and further change our understanding of how biology and life are interconnected. This platform is called MERSCO and it will be the first high multiplexing, high resolution, in situ commercial platform that not only provides spatial context across entire tissue sections, but also provides the most sensitive gene expression profiling for single cells. Now let's take a look at how spatial information fits into the evolution of genomics. Sequencing, and in particular, NGS, allows us to read the genetic code of any living creature in the world. However, while bulk sequencing lets us quantify gene expression across whole tissues, cell heterogeneity gets lost in the bulk average. Single cell sequencing has been a critical advancement in helping to interrogate the most basic system unit, the cell itself. But unfortunately, it requires that we disrupt the interface and the organization of the cells. Spatial genomics, or true spatial genomics as it's intended, gives us the opportunity to finally understand the biology of intact tissue with the precision of single cell gene profiling. We can begin to look at how cells function, interact, how they respond to stimuli, all without perturbing their native tissue environment. This is why spatial genomics is the next generation of genomics. It provides the right type of data that can lead to the most important insights in ultimately overcoming disease and disorder. And just imagine if images or words weren't organized, didn't have spatial context, we would be living in a world that's incomprehensible. In today's research world, we have units of information like single cell data, but no understanding of their spatial organization, morphology, and interactions with each other. It's like a jigsaw puzzle with no tools to put the whole picture together. Until now. The next generation of single cell spatial transcriptomics is here. Introducing MERScope, the platform solution for MERFISH technology. With a seamless workflow from sample preparation through data visualization on a single platform, you can simultaneously measure the copy number and spatial distribution of hundreds of RNA species in individual cells. MERScope offers the performance of MERFISH technology with a streamlined workflow. The solution is designed for sample input flexibility, so you can measure the genes you specify on any sample or tissue type. Simply load your sample into the instrument and use our intuitive software to configure your custom MERFISH measurement. The MERScope Reagent Pack enables automated imaging and fluidics to perform a full measurement with no additional user intervention. MERScope provides high cell throughput, measuring the expression of hundreds of genes across hundreds of thousands of cells in a single instrument run. In just 24 hours, you can atlas the molecular composition of a full tissue slice through combinatorial labeling, sequential imaging, and error-robust barcoding, MERFISH technology provides the highest detection efficiency and resolution available for spatially profiling the transcriptome from whole tissue section to single cell, and finally, subcellular imaging across the whole tissue. With broad applications in fundamental biology and medicine, MERScope is visualizing biology to advance human health. Dive in and discover MERScope today. Hopefully you can appreciate why this platform is so exciting. It's not just a single product, but a full portfolio solution that goes from sample to result. MERScope's core technology, MERFISH, was originally developed in Xiaowei Zhuang's lab at Harvard University and has become established as the leading technology for in situ spatial genomics. With over a dozen peer-reviewed publications from leading research institutions and journals, it has demonstrated unparalleled capabilities. MERScope allows you to directly interrogate the spatial composition of biological samples with higher resolution, multiplexing, and detection efficiency. All of this is done without the need or cost of sequencing. Let's take a quick look at the technology involved. 
The chemistry is based on single molecule fish, which has been established as the gold standard for quantifying gene expression. For single molecule fish, multiple fluorescently labeled probes are designed to bind to the desired RNA target with high specificity. By directly counting the number of RNA targets that fluoresce, we achieve incredibly high detection efficiency for determining RNA expression. This is true quantitation of RNA, even for low expressing genes which have been very challenging to detect by traditional technologies such as single cell sequencing. However, single molecule FISH is limited by its multiplexing capability. With the benefit of higher detection efficiency, the question becomes, how do we go from few to many? Here, MERSCO provides the power of multiplexing by profiling hundreds of genes simultaneously. To accomplish this, we created a barcoding scheme where each targeted gene is assigned a unique binary barcode, a sequence of zeros and ones. We then read out the barcode with sequential imaging. When a fluorescent signal is detected, it represents a one. If there is no signal on that molecule, then it's a zero. By performing multiple rounds of imaging, a binary code can be read out. Using this proprietary barcoding system, Merscope gives you the flexibility to create your own gene panels of more than 500 gene targets. Fully customized or standardized panels are options you can choose. Both are simple and easy with Merscope. But to ensure we identify each transcript correctly, this barcoding system is designed with error robustness. Barcode sequences are designed to have enough space between them, so incorrectly assigning a barcode is very unlikely. If there is a readout error, the system can assign the readout to the nearest correct barcode. This is what makes the results of MERSCOPE so accurate and consistent. And also because this is a fluorescent imaging technology, we can dramatically increase the analysis area by simply tiling additional fields of view. MERSCOPE can image a square centimeter of tissue area and analyze hundreds of thousands of cells at a time, mapping the molecular architecture all the way from the tissue level to the subcellular, and no cell dropouts. Since so many cells are imaged at a time, not only does it increase the probability of identifying rare cell types, it also increases the probability that a low expressing gene that is at the detection threshold will also be detected. As you can see, combining all of this technology is what enables such rich information to be generated. However, since terabytes of raw imaging data per sample really isn't practical to manage, MERSCOPE rapidly processes all of it into simple to use output data and image files. Along with our visualization tool to view MERFISH measurements, these outputs are completely open, similar to the formats you might find with single cell sequencing and compatible with already existing analysis tools. Now let's take a look at a few examples of what MERSCO can do with real samples. Here we can see an entire coronal section of the mouse brain. We measured a panel of 483 genes, but highlighted eight in this image for visual clarity. Even with this small subset, we can already see the very distinctive spatial organization within the tissue. MERSCOPE's single molecule resolution applies across the full tissue. Zoomed out, we can explore the tissue-wide variation in gene expression, but we can zoom into anywhere in the tissue to get the wide field of view where we can see the location of individual cells. And finally, we can further zoom in to view the cells at the subcellular level, allowing us to analyze the location of each transcript within the cell. With this high resolution, we can segment the cells and count the number of transcripts falling within the boundaries of each cell, performing single cell analyses like cell typing and subtyping. We clustered the cells of this brain section and plotted the UMAP. And you can see here the diverse cell types found in the mouse brain. However, we can now take those same cell types and map them in their original location within the tissue, revealing just where all the interesting cells are located and providing insight as to what they do. And until now, we've never had a commercial platform able to get to single cell resolution in spatial genomics. To demonstrate what that means, we looked at just one of the 483 genes in this panel, opiate receptor delta-1. If we zoom in, we can clearly identify the exact cells expressing this gene as we see here in green. For comparison, using an oligo-array based platform that has a 55 micron spot size, you get much less information Within that spot, you get a total number for OPRD1 expression, but no ability to resolve any further than that or to get to single cell expression. Perhaps even more striking is all the dead area outside the spots where there's no information at all. Using MERSCOPE, however, our high resolution provides critical information all the way down to the subcellular level. Another significant advantage of MERSCOPE is higher sensitivity. 
by comparing the number of detected transcript copies between Merscope and the array-based platform using matched brain sections, we can determine their relative detection efficiency. Here, we can see Merscope detects significantly higher copies of transcripts for the same genes, in fact, nearly 70 times more. What's the impact of detecting less than 2% of Merscope transcripts? When looking at OPRD1 without Merscope, one might think its presence in cells is extremely rare with no clearly defined spatial organization. But with Merscope, we can clearly see how intricately organized the cells expressing this opiate receptor are. Let's move on to another example, human PBMCs, to highlight the power of Merscope even in a sample where the cells aren't spatially organized. With Merscope, we can measure more than half a million cells for these types of samples in a single experiment. This provides orders of magnitude higher cell throughput than you might typically run for single cell RNA-seq. Here, we ran a panel of 283 genes, and when we clustered the cells, we found many well-known cell types within the human blood, such as CD8-positive T-cells, B-cells, and CD4-positive T-cells. Of interest, though, we found a number of transcriptionally distinct cell populations with very few cells. For example, this axle-positive expressing dendritic cell cluster represented only 0.2% of the cell population. If we only measured a few thousand cells, like in typical sequencing experiments, this could easily be missed. But not only does high cell throughput allow us to detect rare cell types, we can also go back and identify the actual axle-positive cells that were imaged, providing us with not only the ability to confirm which cell it was, but also providing us with the opportunity to learn more about the morphology of that cell, which is extremely important for clinical diagnostic applications. Finally, I'd like to show you an example of Merscope data on human tissue. We mapped the expression of 417 genes across a colon cancer section and have highlighted 10 genes that mark cancer cells, immune cells, and fibroblasts. With just 10 genes, we can see very clear cellular diversity and interesting spatial features across the tissue. For example, at the tumor microenvironment level, we can see a group of SOX9 positive tumor cells towards the top. This group of SOX9 expressing cells circle an SPP1 expressing stromal cell. Immediately adjacent to these fast proliferating cells is a large population of B cells marked by immunoglobulin alpha-1 expression. These are some of the things we start to see with just a few genes. But this is a 417 gene measurement with single cell resolution across full tissue. The spatial distribution of immune cells types and states can indicate how effectively the host is fighting the tumor. Merscope can directly map this cellular distribution. Here we see a rich variation in the distribution of the immune cell types with large clusters of B cells towards the lumen and T helper 17 cells highly enriched on the other side of the tumor. This global single cell view will help us uncover interactions between certain cells and confirm pathways and mechanisms that could provide us with key insights we need to one day overcome this devastating disease. By now, you're probably asking yourself, so when can I get this Merscope? Well, good news. Our Merscope launch date is right around the corner. Merscope beta systems have already gone into testing and I'm happy to announce that we expect to launch our commercial platform in the summer of this year. However, during the initial launch, we plan to release a limited number of platforms. This is due to both the limited capacity of manufacturing at launch, along with our desire to work closely with each and every customer to ensure that we can provide the best possible support to get you up and running with Mersco. And before the end of 2021, we will be in full production mode and supporting sales everywhere in the US. Because of the limited availability during the summer, we have already started a wait list for Merscope instruments. If you have an important research project and need to acquire a platform soon, I would encourage you to contact us to find out more information. NASA says you can discover new worlds in space. They're absolutely right. 2021 is going to be the year that we can finally explore the space of biology and discover new worlds of scientific understanding. I and the entire Visgen team look forward to accompanying you on this mission to space. Thank you for joining me today and stay well.